All right, so about 15 minutes uh, for the wire wheel process. Next, I'm going to go and do some degreasing, get all this oil and varnish and all this crud off here. So we'll do some cleaning, hand cleaning now. So here's a solution of just some uh, degreaser and some water. Just choose whatever you guys like to use. I don't really have one I can recommend. I uh, think this might be purple power, something like that. Nice to have one of these brushes here. I'm just going to try and get all this the grease or grease out of here. Anything that can. Uh, my next step after this is going to use the dry um, cabinet for blasting. So I want to make sure I get as much of the grease off here so it doesn't hold on to the grit from the dry blast cabinet. We'll go ahead and clean all these as good as we possibly can. All right, uh, so after degreasing them, it's about 10 minutes or so, give or take. I use some brake cleaner on it to help get some of the oil off. It's like super important for me to get all this oil and grime off before it goes in the dry blaster, or it's just gonna clog it up and make sure all the uh, media stick to the cases and not do its job. So that's about as good as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it prepped uh, for the or uh, get the machines prepped. I got a Two-stage compressor here With a Oil or uh, I used a cooler on the back end to help remove moisture got some moisture traps So I'm doing my best to make sure I get no moisture in my line and then I have a modified Harbor Freight um, dry blast cabinet, the metering valve. Uh, so we'll get this blasted and I'll show you the results. About 20 minutes in the dry blast box here. Uh, there's some stubborn areas that, uh, like in the nooks and crannies, that just when there's a lot of buildup, it's just hard to get the media to get that out. But I'm gonna come back with a little wire wheel setup on the um, Dremel style tool. So. You know, it kind of just like bounces right off of this buildup of uh, gunk and stuff when you're shooting it with the media. You know, still like the nooks and crannies, there's still stuff that needs to be taken out down here. Over here. So we'll go ahead and use this wire wheel and kind of get in all this area that needs to be done. So I'm going to go around all the areas on the case and get them cleaned out. So I got uh, probably about 20 to 25 minutes on the dry blast and then another 10 minutes with this Dremel going through all the areas that needed to still have some grease and grime removed from. Uh, next step we're going to go to the vapor honer and get this case polished up.
So about 20 minutes in the vapor honer. Cases are finally cleaned up. I did do, you know, about 15, 10, 15 minutes of washing. I used some Dawn soap, hot water, to make sure I released all the glass bead that's in that vapor honer. Uh, when you use it, you got tons of micro glass beads everywhere. Uh, so I use hot water, soap, soap, soapy hot water, and just make sure I rinse it. Uh, never can rinse enough to get it all out. Uh, I'm going to use an air compressor to blow out all the nooks and crannies now. You can probably use a little brake, uh, brake cleaner too. And then uh, that should be it for the uh, cleaning. So, as you can see, there's quite a process to get the cases. So, what you see when I finish the motor, but uh, you know, a lot of um, a lot of detail work goes into getting these to the point of um, being very clean. That's going to conclude the uh, cleaning of the engine cases. I hope it was informative for you to at least see kind of how I do it. Uh, give you guys maybe some ideas if you're going to attempt to get it cleaned. Um, I know not everyone has the same tools I have, but you can use a combination of some of the things that I've shown. Uh, and those of you that are interested in having me doing rebuilds for you, you can see how extensive I go to make sure that the cases are extremely clean uh, before we rebuild your engine. Alright, thanks for watching guys.